مساء الخير عليكم انا مهندس احمد بنزي مدير تسويق الشركه العربيه للهندسه الطبيه وكيل فينو الترا ساوند في مصر مبدئيا هنتكلم انترودكشن سريع كده عن ليه فينو او ايه التكنولوجي المختلفه او الفيتشرز المختلفه في اجهزه فينو بوجه عام وهنتكلم تحديدا النهارده على الديفايس الجديد اللي موجود هو الكيو سيريز او الهاند هيلد بروبس ده مستر تيدي هو المدير مبيعات شمال افريقيا هو هيدي برضه برزنتيشن بسيط عنه. مبدئيا هو احنا بنسال عامه نفسنا سؤال يعني واي فينو او ليه فينو؟ هو فينو اصلا معناه ايه؟ يعني الكلمه فينو معناها ايه؟ هي اختصار لجمله اللي هي فيجن ان انوفيشن يعني رؤيه في الابتكار. طيب ايه الانوفيشن في اجهزه فينو؟ اجهزه فينو معتمده بشكل اساسي على السوفت وير. حاجه اسمها ار اف بلاتفورم الار اف بلاتفورم دي تكنولوجي كانت بتستخدم بس في اجهزه الكوميونيكيشنز او اجهزه الساتلايت بشكل خاص ليه عشان تمنع اي فقد في الداتا لان طبعا فقد في الداتا في في في, في حاجات حساسه او سنسيتيف زي الساتلايت تبقى كارثه ودي اول مره تستخدم في جهاز طبي بشكل عام هي في اجهزه فينو السوفت وير بيديني فلكسبيليتي في حاجات كتيره جدا، اولا ما فيش اي حاجه مفروض عليا في الجهاز، انا بقدر اكستمايز كل حاجه على حسب رغبتي وعلى حسب راحتي وعلى حسب شغلي. تاني حاجه اي فيتشرز جديده ممكن بتنزل اقدر اضيفها لان الموضوع سوفت وير يعني مش هارد وير ان انا بجيب كومبوننتس وحاجات بقدر اضيفها، لا ده الموضوع بشكل عام هو عباره عن سوفت وير، كمان هو اسرع بكتير من اي جهاز تاني والسنسيتيفيتي بتاعته عاليه جدا واللوزنج في الداتا يعتبر زيرو ده بشكل عام اجهزه فينو وليه هي مختلفه في فيتشرز كتيره موجوده في الاجهزه بس انا مش حابب اتكلم عنها كتير حابب ان احنا نشوفها اكتر يعني اعتقد برضو في بعض من من الدكاتره الافاضل شافوا الاجهزه وجربوها ممكن يقولوا لنا برضو رايهم في الاجهزه ولو عندهم اي نيجاتيف فيدباك طبعا يعني فيل فري تو تو ساي يعني ودي حابين برضه نجربها اكتر في ايام جايه ممكن يبقى في لايف ديمونستريشنز نشوف الاجهزه نشوف الفيتشرز اللي موجوده فيها وايه اختلافاتها عن الاجهزه الثانيه اللي موجوده في السوق. والاجهزه طبعا موجوده اللي حابب ايه يتفرج عليها او يبص عليها ويشوف الفيتشرز بتاعتها يعني. مستر تيدي دلوقتي هيتكلم عن الكيو سيريز او الهاند هيلد بروبس. بعد ما اخلص لو في اي كويستشنز او حاجه ممكن تسالوها لي او تسالها له احنا تحت امركم يعني. طيب ميرسي. Uh, good afternoon, doctors. Uh, it's my great honor to come to National Heart Institute to give a brief introduction about our company products. My name is Teddy Liu. I was uh, uh, working in Vino as a sales manager in charge of the whole North Africa. Uh, so <coughs> uh, this is our new product, actually, for the Q series. It's uh, uh, the handheld hand color doublet systems. So we will give a brief introduction in the uh, we will first. Uh, Tell, about, tell something about our core technology, and then we will explain about some design of, and then you add and some demonstrations. So when we're talking about the core technology, of course, uh, uh, Ahmed just already explained to all of you that our core technology is we call IF platform. So basically, uh, this handheld uh, system have the same platform with uh, our uh, portable system and the built-in uh, systems. So. Uh, you can see that because we, we, we get a good image because the platform is the same. Also, we design now we, we have, uh, actually when we design this, we are, the, first, uh, the first stage, uh, it's, uh, we call it the linker capacities. The first stage where we still have the cable, where we, ha we have the Type-C port, and uh, it will be support both of the Windows, Android, and uh, iOS. Now uh, we just began, uh, we already finished the first step, we support a Windows system. Uh, but this is Windows system is not like that we use the computer or something like that. We, we, we can support the, uh, you know, the, the Windows tablet. Later we will have, uh, we have this uh, uh, demonstration. Ahmed will show you uh, what, how, to, how to do the demonstrations in the system. Uh, now we have uh, three probes. We have the linear probe, uh, the convex probe and the fist, fist probe. 
we, uh, the, the system, uh, it's waterproofed, actually. So you can, it, it can be used under the water. Uh, also, we support three buttons here. This is uh, we call it, uh, uh, it's, it's similar like you know uh, some customized uh, buttons. It can be uh, customized all the different functions with these three buttons. Well, the doctors can choose whatever functions he want to use in these three buttons. This is some of the uh, applications that we we hope that it can be uh, uh, penetrated in the market. Why the internal hospitals, the outdoor hospitals? And the sports medicine, and then they, uh, some um, some armies, uh, because you know, all these uh, uh, applications need. Uh, we put the machine to the patient. We cannot uh, all the time bring the very big you know, trolley machine to this uh, to, to the patient. So the uh, the mobility is very important in all these applications. Here is some. Uh, also support some functions so that they can do this, you know, uh, 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 get, get used for the beginners. Also, uh, for both of the three, uh, for, for all of the three um, probes, we have the, uh, the corresponding um, punctures. Also, here I just explained, it's up to the standard IPX7. So one meter depth distance and hold 30 minutes. But you cannot put the type C port inside of the water because you know, it's, it's, it's you cannot do that because the type C, it will be damaged. Uh, to help the doctor to know how to, you know, there, because there is a lot of young doctors, you know, they are not, uh, they don't have enough skills. So how to have the doc these doctors to, uh, to do the good scanners? So in all of the systems, we have the professional teaching tools. So when the doctor uses this machine, he can learn through these videos at the same time so that he can make this uh, uh, scanning more accurate. And gradually, uh, after the doctor uses it uh, a lot of times, he can, know all the, he can learn all these scanners and eventually don't need the teaching towards anymore. Here is some, uh, some uh, operational interface. In this left side, we have the basic uh, you know, uh, functions like 2D image and uh, color Doppler and pulse wave and M mode. Here is a freeze. And uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, uh, if you slide this to the, to the left, we have another like body mark and uh, the uh, saved image capture and also the measurement. Uh, for the users to have some global settings, for example, for the username system, a system, all of them was here to sub, to uh, to open the open the setting and come to the uh, general settings here. It's easy to use. Here's also some applications. If you want, when you get the system. It's very easy for you to, to, to change the, pre, uh, the applications. Just put the probe, uh, the, uh, press the probe, probe button, and you will find all oh, this. This is first array, so we have the ca uh, ca <coughs> cardiac and uh, TCD and abdominal uh, preset. Also, for the patient management, it's here. So here are some demonstrations we have compared with, uh, uh, you know, this. On the right, this is uh, Philips Lumify. So this is uh, on the left side. This one, this is our built-in trolley system X1. Uh, it's uh, the entrance because uh, it's uh, the, our uh, middle range products for the built-in trolley system. And in the middle, this is our handheld system. We can see that we have the good uh, contrast resolution of, uh, of 3C abdominal images. The overall image have high definition and the resolution of the near field is better than, even better than Lumify. We have compared this in Europe last month. Also, the abdominal 
color image of the uh, of our Q series is more flexible than our own system, even our build, our, our built-in system X1, and has a better smooth smoothness here. For the for the PWD, I mean post wave, post wave performance is closed with, with our own uh, built-in trolley system, but the Lumi 5 don't support the post wave. Also, we can see some uh, the linear probe, the 2D image from, from our linear probe. The image contrast and the resolution of, of, of handheld is good, such as the, we can see the muscular fiber in front of the carotid is better than others here. And the RMT looks more clear in the anterior wall of the blood vessel. Here is some uh, of the color image. But we have to admit that in this case, Lumify is better in the blood flow smoothness. In the post wave, uh, in our building system and our uh, handheld system, the image is, we can see that it can come comparable. Left side is the building system, the right side is handheld. Also, uh, with, uh, with our uh, cardiac probe, we also have made a comparison between these two, the three systems. We can see that in the middle, this one is the handheld one. In the handheld, the card image has more, panest more contrast performance, and the near field has good resolution. We can see here. But penetration is a little bit poorer than lumified. The frame, the frame rate feeling more slow than the lumified at this stage. But we are still trying to improve uh, these products because it's just uh, launched last month. Also, this is a uh, color temporal resolution is weaker than the lumified, and the color flow penetration is weaker than lumified. So we have to admit that you know Philips, because you know because of the strong point in the cutting, so uh, there's still a lot of uh, things we need to uh, improve. The, the post wave performance is weaker than X1, but the Lumify don't support the post wave. So, the conclusion of our uh, handheld system, the advantages. So, we have more widely used because of the scanning and compatibility, uh, both of the ultrasonic uh, department and the non ultrasonic department. And they also powerful, support the more scanning mode. We support the PW and also support the uh, Power Doppler and more parameters use uh, because you can we, we can have more parameters uh, at adjustment for the measurement and analysis we support the more professional uh, analysis tools such as the cardiac measurement this is very important because you know most of the uh, handheld system they don't have the cardiac measurement so not all, the doctor can only have a very basic scanning in this uh, if they use these kind of systems. We also have the all this library of the annotation library and the body mark libraries. So 